So as you guys know, I own an antique store. I'm really interested in history. I'm also interested in my own history. So I thought I'd send away last week for a DNA kit through Ancestry.ca and um, do a DNA test and see what I am. I know on my mom's side, I am Russian, Ukrainian, Polish, um, and on my dad's side, German, English, and Scottish, and probably all that other stuff. So I know I'm already kind of a mutt, but because I'm so many things, I thought I'd send away for this little kit here and uh, see what I am. So I'm gonna go inside, spit in a tube, mail it away, and see what I am. So I've traced the origins of my last name, Archpool, back to Ireland in the 1500s. I know they came over to North America, over to New York in about 1725, so they were really early residents of the US. They lived in the States up until the late 1800s when they came up to Canada for free farmland. I mean, who wouldn't? And you'd think that in the time they spent in the North Dakota area, the Dakotas and Montana back during the Wild West, that well, maybe there's going to be a little bit of mixing going on, and I'm wondering if maybe there's some North American Indians. So we'll find out. So I've got to send this test off and see what I am. So this is it. This is the kit that came in the mail. Uh, we're going to open it up and see what's inside. I'm kind of hoping with this test that um, maybe I discover something cool that I didn't know about myself. So we're going to have a look inside the box and see what's in here. It's really taped up good. Yeah, they've got their industrial tape on here. So, open the box up, and there's instructions, what looks like a little DNA testing bag, and a little box to send it back in. So, oh, look, there's the spit tube. <laughs> Probably pretty disgusting. So, I'm gonna get cracking on this, fill this up with spit, which I'm sure nobody needs to see that, and um, see about getting this sent off in the mail. And here's the instructions. Looks pretty straightforward. I have to activate it online. Gather DNA. And kind of looks like a home pregnancy test, not gonna lie. Hopefully I don't find out I'm pregnant, that would suck. <laughs> um, yeah, so I gotta follow these instructions. And they make it look so simple. It's like Ikea wrote the instructions for this. It's like little stick men and stuff. Um, yeah, so let's go try this. So I have to fill this tube with saliva up to the black line, take the little top off, put this cap on, which has some kind of stabilizing fluid in it, and then mail it away. And in six to eight weeks, I'll know what I am, which is kind of cool. So yeah. And since I just ate a grilled cheese sandwich, they might think I'm part grilled cheese. So <laughs> I'm sure they'll figure that out once they scrape all the gunk out of my spit and figure out what's me and what's food. But here it goes. Okay, so I have filled the thing with spit. I am sealing up the little box and it's a little prepaid box here. And I'm gonna mail it out. So we'll find out in six to eight weeks. So stay tuned. Milling out my DNA. What'll I be? Who knows? We'll have to wait and see. Oh no, it doesn't fit in the mailbox. Eh. DNA does not fit inside of my mailbox. I must go to post office. Well, I successfully mailed my spit out. It's the strangest thing. I've never actually handed boxed spit to another person before and put it in the mail. I'm pretty sure it's legal because people do this all the time. Um, so yeah, now it's just a waiting game. So uh, that part of it's done. And uh, yeah, now next time you see me, it'll be six to eight weeks later. And throughout the whole process, they send out these handy little emails, so you just know they haven't forgotten about you. So the one I'm waiting for is the one that says that it got uh, results for me. So let's wait and see. So the results are in. So um, I guess it was like four to six weeks ago, I sent in my DNA, spat in a tube, as you saw, and uh, today we just got the email that came in. So we're all gonna find out, at least these guys will find out a little bit about what they are. So I'm gonna open up the email. I haven't seen this yet. I've been saving this moment to, to do with my family. <laughs> So uh, we're going to open up this and um, see what the DNA results are. So here we go. So I'm clicking on the button that says see my results. The first thing that comes up is a view your genetic ancestry. So it says 67% Eastern European, 16% Ireland, I guess that's my last name, Archbold is an Irish last name, 17% other. So I don't know, what do you, what do you guys think? What do you think we're going to be? Other regions. So, German. German. Okay, what else do you guys think? Mm, I don't know. Probably Russian, I think, right? Yeah. Okay. Uh, Maybe there'll be some surprises in here too. Okay, I'm gonna click the button. 
Ukrainian, yeah. Uh, okay, so let's go to overview here. It kind of shows a map, and that's showing, yeah, England and parts of Germany and looks like maybe part of Finland or something. Okay, so we're gonna go to ethnicity regions. Uh, okay, so it says um, Europe. <laughs> Uh, for the European part of it, 67% Europe East, 16% Irish, 8% Europe West, 7% Scandinavian, uh, West Asia less than 1%, Finland, Northwest Russia 1%, which is funny because Russia, that's where my great grandpa was from, you'd think it would have been more. Let's go to genetic communities. Okay, well, I'm definitely seeing like Poland and the Czech Republic, it's like showing kind of all over the map here. I'm gonna. Do a screenshot of this here too. Well, I'm I'm European, eh? Um, <laughs> because I kind of knew that. So Europe East is like um, Poland, Slovakia, Czech Republic, Austria, Russia, Hungary, all that. That's uh, Europe East. I'm like 67% Eastern Europe. I am like 0% African. You'd think at some point there would have been a little mixing going on, but apparently not. I'm 0% Asian, 16% Ireland. That's so funny, like when you look at Ireland, it's like ethnicity, Ireland, primarily located in Ireland. So guess what? There was some uh, potato picking in my past and uh, our last name, that's where our last name kind of comes from. But it looks like there was definitely a lot of uh, Eastern Europeans in there too. So um, yeah, so that's pretty neat. In fact, I'm so Eastern European that if I went on vacation there, like Ukraine or Poland or Austria or something got hit by a bus, if they did a DNA test on me, they'd be like, yeah, this guy was probably local. So, yeah, really no surprises here. I'm from Europe, and that's all there is to it. So after all that, it turns out I'm 100% European. Um, mainly Eastern European, like I guess Ukraine, Poland, Russia, kind of in that area. As you think that there weren't that many people around, that something would have happened, but apparently not. So, uh, I am 99.9% .9 European. Um, so no surprises there. Now my wife is going to send hers in hopefully soon and I'll find out and then my kids will have a better range of what they are. I guess by process of elimination we just send our kids in and then we could take out the stuff that I'm not and she'll know what she is. But um, yeah, these are kind of cool tests. If you haven't done one before, kind of neat to do. Um, we ended up doing it through Ancestry.ca. But if you love history and love this kind of stuff, I recommend it. Um, usually we do kind of exploration videos, but if you like our videos, please subscribe. There's always something going on around here. Um, you can also check out our website. We have an antique store called Curiosity Inc. And uh, our website is curiosityedmonton.ca. And thanks for tuning in, and we'll see you all soon. Bye for now.